Hi friend, welcome or welcome back. My name's Angel. Today, we've got a really big project that I've undertaken. For quite some time, I've been looking to replace my kitchen table with a nice round dining set just to give us a little bit better flow. Our house had all of my favorites, but the price tags were pretty hefty. I loved these Jordan tears and just the architectural detail to them. And lo and behold, after much searching on Facebook Marketplace, I found something that I thought might just be close. I was able to snatch it for around five dollars but I had my work cut out for me so let's get started today to see how she turned out so the table that I picked up from Facebook marketplace had been very well loved to say the least so I set about at first just giving it a good scuff sand and working on those areas that had a lot of wear most of the wear was on the arms where people's hands had been and around the base of the table where chairs had scuffed in and out and just all of that natural wear and tear would take place so I didn't really want to totally strip and and try to restain this project you can see here this is some of the scuffing that I am talking about so it had what I would have said was a painting technique on it so I wanted to try to just replicate that the first thing that I did after sanding was apply a hickory colored gel stain just back over the areas that I had scuff sanded that really didn't give me that same dimension so then I went back over with blue black gel stain just to allow that to seep down into the crevices and give us that three-dimensional effect that this factory faux finish had on the wood. And that was a win for us on the base. The color match was impeccable. So that led us to the chairs. You can see here that one of the chairs was really damaged. I used some JB Weld quick wood to repair this gouge. It's a two-part epoxy putty that you work together and you press into these crevices, smooth off, sand, and then that allows you to simply paint or stain right over it. It is very, very durable as well. Then moving on to the tabletop. This tabletop was a disaster. It was very damaged and it was veneer. It had a lot of bubbling and peeling as you can see. So I tried to use an X-Acto knife and cut small slits in the bubbles that were caused by water damage. Take a damp towel and a steam iron and just try to reactivate that old glue underneath. Sometimes that will work. In my case, it did not. I think the glue was just too old this table is well over 20 years old so I ended up taking an exacto knife and very carefully cutting out all of those damaged areas once I had removed the damaged areas I went back in with that same quick wood and filled in those spots and then sanded it off then I thought that I was in a good space I could add wood conditioner and simply go in and stain my top that was not the case. It did not turn out like I wanted at all. The wood looked very dry and you can see here was terribly dark. So in full transparency, which we are here on this channel, I attempted to try to recreate that same faux finish. It appeared to me that the undercolor was almost like a harvest yellow. So I went and chose a sample color at Home Depot that was this warm gold. I sanded down lightly that tabletop and I painted right over it, just covering all of that dryness and just trying to save and replenish the wood, thinking I could attempt then to do a faux wood finish technique. So this is what our base looked like after we had done all of our repairs and it has that nice warm undertone. And this is what the top looked like after I painted it. So then we go into using that same hickory gel stain and attempting to do a faux wood finish technique to match the rest of this table. 
I'm not gonna lie, I was really nervous. I've done this a lot, but never on a flat, expansive space like this. What you do is brush it on. I'm using, simply for the first application, a sponge brush, and then you just drag that stain with a bristle brush to get this detailing of wood. And voila, I was thrilled. It turned out almost a perfect match for the rest of the table. So now let's move on to the chairs. The first thing was I wanted to repair and finish off the undersides of the chairs. I found this roll of fabric finish at a thrift store many months ago for 99 cents and picked it up just for this project. I removed the old and simply worked my way around with replacing the new using my staple gun and just tucking under those edges to give it a nice finish. The next thing that I set out to do was attempt to be able to save the leather that was on all of these chairs. I knew I could replace it with fabric, but I really wanted to maintain the leather. It was in horrible condition and very dirty. I attempted to clean just the spots first, and when that did not work, I just decided, as you can see here, by all the cracking and just the dryness, to clean the leather and then go about trying to fill in and repair all all of this cracking and peeling. I used all my products from the leather dye company out of Canada and I'll include that below. This is what the chair looked like after I filled in all the cracks with the putty and then sanded it off. I then applied my first coat of dye just sponging it on right over the top and you can see how the dye is soaking into the leather and it is also going right over those repairs of the cracks we filled. I chose olive brown a from their company. Once I put that first coat on and I let it dry for 24 hours, I went back in and I applied a second coat in the same application over the top. And this is how beautifully it covered. And you can see all of the cracking and peeling is gone. It's very pliable and soft, not stiff at all. The final step was to apply a sealer and I chose their dark sealer or an antiquing sealer applied in that same padding motion as the dye. I'm really tickled with how the table turned out. It was a labor of love, but well worth the effort. And I cannot say enough about the leather products from the Leather Dye Company. I'll include their information below. I hope this has inspired you to attempt to recreate and reutilize and restore things that you may not have considered before. I think this table turned out to be a pretty close dupe for anything that you would find at our house and certainly a statement piece. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider joining our family by subscribing. It's free. And remember, stay on the journey as we continue making our way home. Until next time, bye-bye.